Hi there, it's Hal again, the Science Content Development Manager here at Molecule. I've got another batch of frequently asked questions that I would love to provide some answers for. Since Molecule became a medical device company in April of 2020, we've been getting a lot of questions about our FDA clearance. So I'm here to provide those answers for you. Why is FDA medical device clearance important? The United States Food and Drug Administration is responsible for protecting public health by ensuring the safety, efficacy, and security of a very large group of products. This includes not just food, pharmaceuticals, and medical devices, but also cosmetics, supplements, animal feed, and many other products, including lasers and even cell phones. If a new product could pose a risk, the FDA first approves its use to be sure the product is safe and effective. For many medical devices, if they can be demonstrated to be substantially equivalent to a device that has already been approved, the FDA can grant clearance to use it for the same purpose. Once a medical device is either approved or cleared, a company can then bring it to market for its intended use. How does the FDA medical device clearance process work? The FDA process is rigorous and requires well-reported data that is scientifically sound. The results must represent the intended use of the device so the FDA can assess that the product is substantially equivalent to a previously cleared device, including equivalent safety and effectiveness. If a company believes they have developed a device that has a known positive impact on health, they can submit what is called a 510K to the FDA. A 510K is a pre-market submission to show the FDA that the device you plan to bring to the market is as safe and effective as an already cleared device. What is an FDA cleared medical device? The FDA clears the sale of all sorts of technology for the American public. Medical device technologies are grouped into one of three classes. Class one devices have a low to moderate risk to the patient or user. This category includes surgical scalpels, tongue depressors, and hospital beds. Most class one devices are exempt from pre-market review. Class two medical devices are those devices that have a moderate to high risk to the patient or user. Class two devices are more complex than class one devices and require greater regulatory control, including typically a 510K pre-market review. These might be blood pressure cuffs, pregnancy kits, powered wheelchairs, or similar devices. Class three devices are those that support or sustain human life, are of substantial importance in preventing impairment of human health, or which present a potential unreasonable risk of illness or injury. Pacemakers, defibrillators, and similar medical devices are in class three. These must obtain pre-market approval from the FDA after an in-depth scientific and regulatory review. Air purifiers that are intended for medical purposes or that have other medical claims fall into class two, which require pre-market clearance for their medical uses. Which molecule air purifiers are cleared by the FDA as medical devices? Currently, Air Pro RX, Air Mini, and Air Mini Plus have been cleared as class two medical devices. All molecule devices feature PICO technology, but these three have been cleared for use in medical settings to reduce airborne viruses and bacteria. You can check out the specific cleared medical uses for each of the devices in the links shown in the description of this video.